Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can do the sentiment analysis with the help of box plot or we can say uh, let's utilize the box plot chart to better analyze the sentiment analysis. So if you have seen one of my previous videos about uh, sentiment analysis basics uh, which I shared few days back and there I talked about uh, how we can calculate the sentiments of the words or the sentences. So in this video, let me go to the R and in this video, what we are going to do is we will going to view the presidential debate data. So if I go to the package which is uh, sentiment R and you see, use it uh, or view the presidential debate here like this. So what it has is basically a data set containing a clean version of all three presidential debates for 2012 election. And we want to take this data and do a sentiment analysis to see how each person has used their sentences to, to basically tell the positive or negative sentence. As you can see it from details that it has a four column which is person, the speaker, TOT, turn of talk and dialogue, the word spoken and time variable indicating where which of the three debates the dialogue is for. All right, so let's see this data in action. So first of all, let's get the dive library, control enter and viewing the presidential debate data by pressing the control enter. And here, if I minimize this, here we have uh, Ladder, Romney and Obama, all of these guys. And then how much uh, turn of talk is basically over here and then what is the dialogue they have said so as you can see in the first row it is about we will talk about specifically about healthcare in a moment so that's that's basically the sentence but this is the moderator that person so with that all of these sentences uh, our idea is to take all of these uh, different persons debate and evaluate it with the help of the box plot chart so we need to plot the each person sentiments and one box plot is referring to one person so how we can do that let's uh, go to sentiment here and what we need to do is first of all we need to create the sentiments for each sentence as it is mentioned and if i press ctrl enter the the command is pretty simple as you can see that uh, we are creating one object president presidential debate sentiments and we are creating sentiment by taking the dialogues from this presidential debate 2012 uh, data frame which is this all right once we take this or execute this command to get the sentiments the next command or the next uh, uh, code is to basically uh, duplicate the presidential debate data so we want to make a changes uh, the change that we want to make is basically take the sentiment that we have created over here and add it to the presidential debate so we don't want to change the original data and that's why we are taking or creating a copy by simply assigning the presidential debates 2012 data uh, data frame which is an original data frame uh, in the package and creating a new object out of it. So let's press control enter Once we press the control enter our new duplicate object is created and as I mentioned that we need to create a new column uh, in the debate uh, data frame with the name sentiments and uh, we will get the sentiments from the This particular object where we calculated the sentiments so what we are doing is nothing that we are creating a new sentiment column in the object where we have the presidential debate from this command and uh, value is coming from the sentiments object that we created with the help of the sentiment function. So once we press control enter, then uh, we have now the sentiments uh, there in the data frame along with each sentence. So let's view it again. So here, you have all the four columns along with now the sentiments each sentence has their own sentiment and now it is uh, very easy for us to create a box plot out of it 
so let's go and run the last command which is nothing but the box plot command so let's press ctrl enter and here if i zoom it a little bit here we have the um, box plot for each of the speaker obama Romney, crowley ladder i think he was a moderator question is i think one of the person or schaefer is uh, the last one so as you can see here uh, in case of obama he has said the less negative word as you can see one extreme outlier over here however he just reached to somewhere around minus 1.3 or somewhere and as compare and when you are comparing the positive sentiment which is above the zero you can see that obama has said more positive things as compared to the other competitors or other other nominate nominators so that's probably maybe one of the reasons that he said less negative thing than Romney and as compared to other um, candidates he has said more positive things and that's why probably he got re-elected in the second term. So that's basically I wanted to give you an idea how you can take an advantage uh, from the different speeches or different data sets and with the help of the box plots how you can analyze the sentiments data and uh, make some good observations out of it. So that's pretty much all for this video and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.